Hey, what's up? It's just Nick. You're watching The Rewind. This week, Tank defends Babyface after Anita Baker boots him from her tour. Dwayne Wade addresses splitting bills 50-50 with Gabrielle Union. And is Khalees dating 72-year-old Bill Murray? Let's get started. Dwayne Wade breaks his silence after being scrutinized on social media for splitting the bills 50-50 when he has way more money than his wife. A few weeks ago, Gabrielle spoke on her household and said they split everything. Dwayne Wade appeared on the club's Shay Shay podcast with Shannon Sharp and addressed the issue. He said he and Gab had an argument years back and spoke about a house that he had paid for. Dwayne says Gab responded by saying, quote, you will never say that to me again when it's something that we share. So when the couple moved to LA, Gab said, I got half on it. Dwayne went on to say they split things when it comes to their family, but he doesn't go half when it comes to individual family expenses. He has children from a previous marriage that Gab isn't financially responsible for, and she has members in her family that she takes care of. He also revealed they signed a prenup. Hey, I mean, if they like it, I love it. You have to do what works for you and your relationship. Is Khalees dating 72-year-old Bill Murray? Rumors erupted last week as a source told US Magazine that the two have been getting close for a while. They've been photographed together on multiple occasions, but it's not clear if they're actually dating. But she's seemingly denying it. Khalees responded to an IG user's comments about the alleged romance, and the fan said, Bill got you out here riding his wave. Media is destroying y'all, LOL. Khalees replied, LOL, yeah, maybe for now. Everyone's dumb and will always believe everything, but the best part is we are both blessed, rich, and happy. So who's really laughing? Now that's funny. Bill and Khalees have a common factor. They are both grieving as she's mourning the loss of her husband who died last year from stomach cancer and Bill's older brother passed away. Our condolences. While Megan Good and Jonathan Majors sparked dating rumors, Megan's ex-husband, Devon Franklin, revealed he cries himself to sleep over her. Aww. During an interview, Devon said there's moments when he's been angry, but he allows himself to feel whatever he needs in order to heal. He also addressed Megan's alleged romance with Jonathan and said if she's happy, that's a blessing. He went on to mention the love for her has not gone away, it's just changed form. Interesting, Devon was the one who actually filed for divorce after nearly nine years, citing irreconcilable differences. Man, breakups are never easy. Wishing them both the best. The singer Tank has inserted himself in the baby face in Anita Baker drama. Quick backstory, Anita's on her songstress tour. Babyface was the opening act. During one of the shows, Babyface had technical issues that hindered him from performing because it would cut into Anita's set. Some fans were outraged and they didn't get to see Babyface. His fans were dragging Anita online and as a result, she decided to remove him from the tour. Anita issued a statement and said, quote, Dearest one, you are not privy to the contracts. Yes, Babyface is a special guest slash support act on my tour. This false narrative of a co-headliner is creating unrealistic expectations and aggression from his fans towards me. He should tell you guys the truth. It's not clear what she means by the truth. Babyface responded and said, although he's saddened by the news and it's disheartening, he has nothing but love and respect for her. Tank came to Babyface's defense and said, quote, you do this to Babyface? That don't seem wrong to y'all. Something don't seem right about that. He didn't do anything. He didn't say anything. Nobody's gonna say anything. We have to protect our black women, I understand that. But who's protecting our black men? Our black heroes? How do you think the situation should be handled? Let us know in the comment section below. And lastly, I wanna address Tyler Perry and this rumored acquisition of BET. Reports surfaced that the movie mogul successfully acquired BET and VH1, making him the first African-American to own two major television networks. But it's not clear if it's true or if a deal is finalized. Viacom, BET Networks, and Paramount Global haven't publicly spoken on it, nor Tyler. What we do know is that Tyler has been in a bidding war for BET with multiple big names like 50 Cent and Shaquille O'Neal. At points, other names like Byron Allen, Kenya Barris, and Sean Diddy Combs were thrown into the mix. I'll definitely keep my eye on this and get you all the facts. I'm just Nick. That's it for this week's episode of The Rewind. Catch me on air weekdays, Monday through Friday, 3 to 7 on WBLS. See you next week.